Well, the heart is usually the organ known for love, but for one Illinois couple, their romance began with a liver transplant. Joining us now with their incredible love stories, Heather Kruger and Christopher Dempsey. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. This is a wonderful story for Valentine's weekend, and it begins with a diagnosis that happened to you back in 2014. Can you take us back to that? Um, March 2014, uh, I had been sick for the past year, and finally at the University of Illinois in Chicago, um, they diagnosed me with stage 4 liver disease. Um, then two months later, uh, I went into liver failure, and at that point they said I had less than 50% chance of living another two months. And Christopher, that's something that you heard people talking about. You were just standing around, you ever heard this conversation about her plight. Yes, yes. <clears throat> it was at lunchtime I overheard a coworker talking about his cousin that was in this situation and I just thought, you know, if I was in this situation, if somebody in my family was in this situation, I would want somebody to help help out. So that's, I decided that I was gonna go get tested. That's so remarkable and you say that as if anyone would do that, but that's certainly not the case. So you went and you were tested and you found out that you were a match. I, I, I found out I was a match and then right after I found out I had called Heather, that was the first time I spoke with her at all, you know, on, on the phone and let her know that I was going to be her donor. So that was the first time that you spoke yes. and then you go through the surgery mm -hmm. and then you wake up and you're in the ICU. Where does the love story begin? Um, kind of beforehand, uh -huh. actually before the surgery, um, we started hanging out more. Our families had met, gone out to dinner and that's kind of when I knew this was going to be more than just... <laughs> How? How did yeah. you know? Well, How um... Like she said, we started spending more and more time together. My uh, motorcycle club decided that they were going to host a benefit to uh, raise money for her hospital bills and stuff like that. So we spent more time together getting donations and stuff for this benefit. And I just thought, you know, she was going through this whole thing with a smile on her face. And, you know, I just yeah. thought that this would be somebody I would want to get to know. And 12 right. days after you left ICU, you weren't just thinking about it anymore. You wanted to make it official, right? Right. right. Yeah. So how did you do that? I just... Uh, kind of asked her if she, she would be my girlfriend and yeah. we make it official and she, she said yeah. So, Perfect. Yeah. And so you're engaged. You're we are engaged. engaged to be married. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what message would you share for other uh, young couples or really anyone at home? What do you hope that your story inspires them to do? I just hope that this brings awareness for the organ donation process and let people know they can change somebody's life dramatically mm -hmm. by, uh, by being a donor if, if it's something they can do. I know it's a big commitment and stuff okay. like that, but, but you can change somebody's life drastically. And everyone, right. I'm sure, wants to know, how are you both doing today? Absolutely perfect. Doing great? Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And when's the date? Do you have a date yet um, for the wedding? October 15th of this year. Very soon, coming <laughs> up. Yes, yes. <laughs> Before you know it, it will be here. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.